So making um, going to do a mail merge with sequent numbers. Okay, so in A1, you're going to type the word label. Okay, then in you, you want to put in your number if you put in um, sort of like A or any letter, so it could be Cherry Vale C H and three, four, six, and you want or three, four, five, and you want sequence numbers. Then, if you pull that down, it'll automatically go, yeah, and put in the numbers in sequence. Okay, um, rub that out, or you can do it if you don't want to have letters at the beginning. You can go um, one and then two in the second one and then highlight them both and pull them down and it will give you the sequence numbers. Or you can put in a formula, which would be put your number in there, which would be, say, one, four, five. And there you're going to put in your formula, which is equals your one, four, five. And then your plus one, hit your enter key, drag it down. Okay, and it'll give you your sequence number. So once you've done that, once you've decided what way you want to put your numbers in, okay, then you're going to file and you're going to save it as, um, I just save it as, um, save it onto my desktop as, mail merge okay but call it whatever you like okay so once that's done you're going to open your word document a blank word document all right and once you have your blank word document open you're going to go to mailings start mail merge labels and that's where you'll choose the labels that you want to have. I'm just going to keep it on that, but you'll have a, a number to choose. And you go OK. Right. You can view the grid lines or you can actually get rid of your grid lines. So it's in, oh, no, it's in layout. View grid lines, put them on. I think they're handy on, but you go back to mailings. At this stage and you go to select recipients use an existing list I'm going to go to my desktop where I had my saved my mail merge and open okay and I'm going to go okay puts it in there all right but in here you need to put in insert merge field okay and I want to put in label and when you get this label up, this is where you can format it a little bit. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to go to home. I'm going to make it bold. Um, change it up to say, well, we'll say 48 and see what it looks like. Um, maybe that's a bit big, but you can decide. You can go to layout and I can change it to be center and center. Back to mailings and then you're going to go update labels. Okay, once you get there, you could preview it. So you can go to here and preview it and you'll see that it's put in all your numbers and then you go finish and merge, edit individual documents. Okay, and that's you and then you could print them out. Hope this makes sense.